Disclaimer, everything I'm about to speak about today is a very serious and obviously a very important matter. However, I do believe that the evidence uh, presented and the evidence that we will we will look at is pretty clear that this woman is a load of dog shit and a lying piece of fuck. So if you've not seen all the best news sites, fucking drama alert, sorry about that, and the best news site, TikToker is accusing UFC champion Alex Pereira of alleged rap per e. She hasn't posted any evidence but shares her alleged account. So rape is obviously very serious. Uh, one of, in my opinion, in my opinion, one of the worst crimes you could ever commit. It's, you know, just as bad as killing someone, in my opinion. Yes, you have to live it. You live with trauma, pain and suffering. And it's horrid and it's something both men and women suffer for. And it's very, very, very important. One thing I hate about women... Uh, <laughs> one thing I hate about rape uh, stories is they always come out years later and I understand people trauma, this, that and the other. But when people make YouTube and TikToks videos and bog bullshit. Now this woman is an OnlyFans girl. Uh, she puts her voluptuous breasts online for perverts to, you know, flick the bean to or whatever. Um, she is an OnlyFans girl that doesn't take away from her as a human being. She still could be very nice, but this is the type of girl we're dealing with. She's obviously very confident, very self Centered is that the right word? You know, I'm sure a lot of OnlyFans girls are, you know, donate to wildlife funds or whatever. But you know, to me, OnlyFans is all about yourself and just making, you know, fat old geezers feel less lonely. Time that I was with him was to ask me to help him put it in. I tried to put it in, but I was nervous, <laughs> so I couldn't. So he did it, and he put it in my ass, and then he assaulted me. If I speak, I am trouble. Now, again, this could be true, and I could have to delete this video and hide myself and move to Russia, like fucking Edward Snowden. I don't know. But one thing I would like to point out is the, you know, the um, the lack of connection I'm feeling right now. I'm a, a P. I, I know I'm a people person. I can read people very well. I do it in my day-to-day -day job. This bitch is giving me nothing. I feel no sympathy right now, and I, I just don't believe this whole story at the start. He, he put it in my ass. If I got bum fucked, I would leave the details out and you can bet your fucking big booty I ain't making a one minute 30 TikTok about it. I'm going to the feds, the FBI, maybe give Donald Trump a call and see if he knows anything about it. Fuck that, I'm getting Dana White on the phone. Dana, come measure me bum hole. Afterwards, he got up, he took a shower, I laid in bed, just kind of like disassociated, not even really like realizing what had just happened i'm scared as fuck and i don't know if i can use the shower and i'm scared to ask him rule number one about getting ready even i know this and this is like taught and being a girl 101 you don't clean yourself you do not do anything like that because then you can keep the dna in it after this she should have gone straight to the fucking doctor straight to the hospital straight to the police they you know get rape kits and this that and the other and they do test they make sure that they get the DNA out before it's tampered with or affected. Why didn't she do that? I know that someone who is marginally less likely to get raped. Unless I go to prison, I look like a baby. Granted, I'm first on the chopping block. I know that. That's why I'm not committing crimes. Or at least I ain't getting caught committing crimes, dog. So I just go to the bathroom and I sit on the toilet for a few minutes while I literally bleed. I come back to bed after going to the bathroom he kisses me on the forehead and he spoons me to sleep. His translator and my friend came in the next morning, woke us up, I get dressed, they get us an Uber. We go back to our hotel, pack up our stuff, and that was, that's it. That's what happened. I, I don't really know what else to say and I don't really like expect everybody to believe me and yes there it is so she met him one thing she says as well is that she has no idea what ufc is she's never heard of it she doesn't know what it is um this is quickly quickly proven to be a lie she's made tiktok so she's clearly not very bright uh, she makes tiktoks puts things on her instagram and flashes her cleavage just in case you've not thought she was lying anymore now again 
this is my my opinion. It very much could have happened, and I owe her a tremendous apology. But I think just when you consider this as well, nice allegations. Hope your failed OnlyFans career produced enough money for defence lawyers. The money I'm making from all the exposure to my OnlyFans will pay well for them. I mean, that's just dirty. You know, this is a serious matter. A woman has accused a man of rape, and not just any old man, Alex Pereira, one of the hardest geezers in the galaxy. You know, he makes fucking Han Solo look like a sausage. Sorry, hot, Chris Solo. And you're telling me, oh, it happened, but I'm so grateful because all of the OnlyFans exposure. Dude, you're doing a disservice to the people who have serious, serious PTSD, serious problems from being, you know, sexually assaulted. And I think it's a bit of a disgrace to even suggest that you're happy about this exposure. You don't rise up to it, you know. Maybe it did happen. But even so, you don't then come out about it, you know, months later, nearly whatever, and then you don't go bragging about how much money you've made from this story. It's not a good look. Not a good look. I mean, it's just not good, is it? And then, you know, this is the girl here. So this is what she... It happened two months ago on June 2nd at a courtyard Marriott after the USC fight in New Jersey. This is her after it, apparently. Look, I, I can't speak for people who've experienced horrible things such as this, but would you film yourself drinking a bottle of wine and dancing and stuff if it happened? I, I would be in a, a you know a police custody cell talking to someone, whatever you do, I don't know. You, you know, I'd be like, hello, get the rape kit in and test my bum crack, please. You know, she uploaded this, so she clearly wasn't that affected to, you know, take a hiatus. Hurt your eyes, eunuch. I'm fairly certain I can show you that but I might have to just put my big head above it. So maybe they did have sexual intercourse, but she clearly was trying to follow him, you know, trying to, didn't know who Alex was. I'm not a huge USC fan, and yet, you know, she's there. You, you know what I mean? Look, again, this is a very serious matter and something that I am very shocked to hear, but also I don't, I, I you know, she's provided no evidence. The evidence is actually stacking against her, you know, um... And, you know, if you, I don't know. It's a hard topic, topic to, to speak about. I'm probably going to get told off in the comments for speaking. You know what I mean? Like, it was 100% just to boost her OnlyFans. Uh, I, I believe, looking at everything, um, all the evidence that you can see, things like this need to be taken seriously and should be. But I think if you were going to... If you wanted people to take yourself seriously, you should have gone to the police. You shouldn't have made a TikTok um, you know, she made and she's just boasted about how much money she's making from her OnlyFans. You know, you know, there's some sick people in the world. Who's buying this shit, supporting this sort of bullshit, right or wrong? You know, I, I you know, I can't speak for her. I can't speak for everyone. But I, I, I think her choices, her actions afterwards speak very differently as to what actually went on. Anyway, guys, this is a serious topic. Um, if you have been affected and by things like this, then, you know, don't don't listen to people like her. You know, you're, you're important and their stories are important and everyone should be heard, including idiots like me. But it's just upsetting when people like this come out and say such such heinous things with no evidence except to TikTok. And, you know, it's my word versus their word, but then they haven't got any evidence and then they post shit like that. On, let's say they did have sex and then she's turned it into, oh, well, you didn't have permission, this, that, and the, you know, do you think? Or maybe he's just a horrible scumbag. Who knows?